My lockdown started back in March, and ever since, till this day, I've been in real lockdown. I only go every now and then to my father's studio and to give the lady that helps us clean the house a ride. Oh, and on some very, very special occasions, I'll go quickly to the supermarket for something specific. This means that I have, since then, have more free time than ever before. Or at least since I can remember. The first days of lockdown, I'm not gonna lie, were great. I couldn't go to work and I didn't really have any other project going on and I was thinking these unplanned little vacations would suit me great and give me the time to do a little bit of creative work, which I really missed. But then so much free time started to be a problem. I suddenly start seeing how many of my savings were going down and realized that if this was gonna not be fixed soon, I would have to get a new job. This whole situation actually started to worry me a lot and in some way took all the drive of the free time I had away. I started to get very stressed watching how also a lot of my friends were being laid off or their hours were being cut back. I had the time, I in theory had the money because I didn't really want to spend it not knowing what would happen, but I did not have the drive. I decided to go back to my parents for the time being. It had been a couple of months since I had seen them and I really really missed them. My father is an extremely active person and watching him never get bored and always doing some sort of project pushed me to find the drive and find myself to get involved in something. I first, like everybody else, started doing workouts. I finally discovered that I'm not the type of person to do cardio, insanity, or any kind of sweating insanity thingy. I actually like the slowest exercises, the ones where you feel that the longer you hold your muscle, the more your muscle will hate you the next day. But as time passed by, that didn't seem to keep me entertained anymore. So I started digging into more creative projects, DIYs, and started learning. I started thinking what I really wanted to do in my life. And I started to think, what were the decisions that I have taken that had led me to this point in my life where I wasn't really happy? I did eventually run out of savings and I started looking for a new job and new clients. And I couldn't find many because the whole world was still starting to collapse. I now had the time and the drive, but I didn't have any money. My friend once asked me, what would make you happy? I answered, money. <laughs> He seemed to be so shocked at my answer since I'm not the person that is about money. I actually feel extremely uncomfortable in like posh, rich, flashy environments. And I then proceeded to explain him, it was not about the money itself, but about the possibilities that money can bring me. I want to buy a house, preferably by the Mexican Caribbean, Or maybe by the Pacific side. Oh, the Pacific side. It has such a surfy vibe. I just love it so much. But anyways, what is the point of money if you cannot enjoy it? The point in my mind of having enough money is to buy my own house, which would mean security. It would mean an accomplishment. I don't want the money to buy an expensive car or a $20,000 purse. I literally would be happy with a Beetle or an old car. I want money to secure myself financially, to keep traveling, to keep discovering, to keep meeting interesting people. Last year my life plan changed completely and because of personal issues I was left with zero coins in my account. It was a huge shock for me to be at a point in my life where I had to rely on my family. It was a very frustrating experience to not be able to take care of myself. After a few months, I got a new job, I started feeling better, I started learning, I started earning, and COVID came. And I was back to square one. What happened last year was my fault, because I trusted the wrong people, because I didn't have a plan for myself, because I made the wrong decisions in the past that led me to that breaking point. What happened this year? Hmm. 
Who the hell would have thought that this could ever happen? But it did, and I'm glad it did, because it has given me the time and space to find myself again and to do the things for the simple reason of loving to do them. I now have a new job, a good job, a job that is always online regardless of a virus or a non-virus, and a job that will allow me to pick myself again and one more time to start over. However, this job it will give me the money, but I will no longer have free time. Or I will have, but very little of it. I am extremely grateful for this job, don't get me wrong. But I cannot help but wonder, when will my life triangle have balance between time, money, and right? I guess this is why they say, find something that you love, and you will never have to work a day in your life. Thank you.